Look at some of the legal wrangling involved in a plea deal like this. I team reporter Katie Davis is in our Down City studio in Providence with legal analyst Mark Dana. Katie. Well, Frank, this is the information filed in federal court this morning with those three charges, bribery, wire fraud, and also charges that former Speaker Fox failed to file tax returns and report that, that Ill, those ill-gotten gains on his tax returns. Mark Dana, our legal analyst, is joining me now. At the top of this information, we just see one name, Gordon Fox. He's the only person charged. Absolutely. It's, it's really wrapped up in a bow. It's not going any further at this point, Katie. You know, we've been waiting a year to see what's going to happen, whether he's going to be charged. And here we are today with the, with the indictment, the plea, and then in a, a few short weeks, probably a sentence. And looking at uh, some of the charges, the bribery charge specifically, the federal statute of limitations had run out. The state statute of limitations, 10 years, had not run out. And so prosecutors were able to make a deal with Fox uh, on the bribery charge. Tell me a little bit about how that worked. Well, basically, they got the information on the 2007 2008 bribery. They knew they couldn't go forward. And they basically told probably Bill Murphy, his lawyer, hey, look, if you want to go next door to the state, uh, uh, attorney general's office, fine, go ahead, but you're going to have parallel proceedings and you're going to get charged and convicted anyway. So he agreed to waive his statute of limitations on that charge and move forward. And these kinds of white collar crimes, the investigations, this is painstaking work, right? Because it's not like a violent crime where you might have physical evidence. We're talking about going back through accounts since 2008, at least that we know of, and even trying to trace possibly cash transactions. Absolutely, and especially on the wire fraud. I mean, if you look at the indictment, they went over every aspect of where he signed up and got wire transfers, and that takes an enormous amount of time. Okay. Thank you, NBC10 legal analyst Mark Dana. We'll have much more coming up tonight starting at 5. Back to you. Thank you, Katie. Here's a little background on Gordon Fox. He was first elected Speaker of the House in February of 2010 after William uh, Murphy stepped down from the post. He was the first openly gay speaker in U.S. history, and he announced that to the public at a gay marriage rally in 2004. Fox was re-elected as speaker in both 2011 and 2012. Our